Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, a country whose development is a clairvoyance of finer urban setting. Right here, within the walls of the African Union headquarters, is where a new African narrative is being birthed. A generation of female techies like 17-year-old Mushtaha Abdallah. I believe girls should have equal opportunity. I believe everyone should have equal opportunity to do, to learn, to have a complete chance of learning, to be able to compete with everyone else, to learn technology, to be able to achieve what they want. They should not be limited by society, they should not be limited by tradition. Because technology is very important and girls should have a chance to go into the industry. About 90 girls from more than 30 African nations have linked up here in Addis Ababa. Ranging between 14 and 20 years, they stand to establish that African girls can code. Nowadays, technology, the whole world is run by technology. You'll find it in medicine, you'll find it in, um, in manufacturing, you'll find it everywhere around you. So if girls don't learn how to how to program or how to be able to deal with technologies, they will not have a chance to go on forward. They will not have a chance to be as successful as they can be. And girls deserve the chance, as equally as men, to be able to enter all these fields. This is a new initiative recently launched by the UN Women, ITU and African Union Commission. As UN Women, we believe that the future of Africa lies in the youth and particularly the young girls. We also believe as UN women that young girls of Africa, once given the opportunity, once given the skills, and once given the role models and the equipment they need, they can fly. The project is focused to endow young women into science discipline areas like design thinking, robotics, gaming, animation and fashion. When we teach a, a, a kid or a young girl uh, programming, uh, the aim of this is to make them producer of technology, not just a consumer. So having more girls in, in, in technology means having more producer of technology in our continent. It means that we will have more ideas, uh, different views uh, of technology, and you never know that maybe the next Mark Zuckerberg will be a girl from, from Africa. The target is to train 1,000 girls across Africa and strengthen ICT and gender in the education system and overly to promote more girls and women in ICT and coding over the next four years. Parce que je voulais vraiment apprendre des choses et je voulais aussi arrêter de, de me dépendre des autres pour pouvoir créer l'application que je veux créer. Et parce que si j'arrive à comprendre ce qu'on nous apprend ici, apprendre à coder, apprendre le robotique, tout ça, pour pouvoir créer d'autres choses seulement, moi-même, moi, moi, moi sans compter sur aucune personne. Oui, c'est ça. The launch of African Girls Can Code initiative comes at a time of need, a necessity which AU intends to realize in the Vision 2063 meant to tackle women empowerment. Une fois que je rentrerai dans ce pays, dans mon pays, j'essaierai de ne pas être égoïste, c'est-à-dire transmettre aux autres ce que j'ai appris ici. Et je suis sûre que j'apprendrai beaucoup, parce que les professeurs sont bons, ils sont motivés. Et nous avons besoin de ça. Nous avons besoin d'apprendre plus, nous avons besoin de faire plus. Donc euh, une fois que je serai dans mon pays, je pourrai juste transmettre aux autres ce que j'ai appris, euh, apprendre plus, parce que je ne vais pas tout apprendre sur la technologie ici. Je suis juste en train d'apprendre un peu. J'apprends déjà plus que, je, plus que je ne sais déjà. J'en sais peu, j'apprends plus que je ne sais déjà. Mais je vais continuer d'apprendre et je vais continuer de transmettre. Je ne vais pas tout laisser pour moi seul. These are just but a few girls who are coding their way into the future of Africa. A future emerging from a high-tech attitude. A future full of hope for women and success stories for these young African girls. Code Madrek Achilala. I'm technology. Start coding.